All right, let's take a gander at the new Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG ban list. Okay, came out yesterday, 71 comments. Magister Unicorn! Let's see, effective from April 15th, 2024, North and Latin America. Effective from April 22nd, 2024, in EU, ME, Africa, and Oceania. Ah, they hit Link Karibo! Oh! They hit Link Karibo, Bear in the Floor, Barrel Load, Savage Dragon, and Summon Limit. Ah, so that whole Trap Control Summon Limit bullcrap, that's done. Dang, they hit Savage Dragon and Bear. I can see them because they're easy out, generic negates. And I've said it before, Konami, make better boss monsters. Not everything has to be negate printed on a piece of cardboard, please. Link Karibo, people have been saying for a long time. That Link Karibo will get hit. Because, to, let's, let's keep it a buck. Link Karibo is basically the new age glow up bulb. Remember glow up bulb? I miss glow up bulb. Glow up bulb would flirt with the ban list. Because glow up bulb was that card that if you had it, you could use it whenever. And that's pretty much Link Karibo. Like, he was too easy to use. He was a bit of a deterrent for attacking. And you could pretty much make him for whatever. And he's a Link 1, which could go into M almost anything you wanted. And he was a Cypress. Like, come on. I can kind of see that, but dang, let's see, Forbidden and Limited, Limited, Arch Nemesis Protoss, oh, Protoss is going to one, Title Dragon Rule Waterfalls, okay, Thunder Dragon Colossus is going to one, alright, and they brought back Kieran, now, they did, yeah, Magic Spectre did get a card for Kieran, so it kind of made sense that Kieran would come off the ban list, but I mean, Who's playing with Magic Spectre? Like, honestly. Like, come on. I mean, you can if you want to. Chicken game. Uh, I guess. I'm kind of happy that title's off the list. That he's limited to one. I mean, Dragon Rulers? I mean. I mean, excuse me. Mm, I mean, the bird. Pardon. Yeah, well, Dark Matter ain't never coming off. <laughs> Even if all the rulers get at full power, which I kind of doubt. Master Duel's kind of, you know, playing around with it because the rulers are at three of Master Duel, but nobody plays with them, unfortunately. But, you know, Anti-Spell Fragrance limited to one. Yeah, really for trap control. I'm looking at you, Eldritch and Labyrinth. Looking at you, too. Semi-limited. Armageddon Knight and Pearly Delicious. Uh, malacious. Oh, Malacious is off the ban list. Oh, unlimited. All oh, the hero players are happy. Harp Horror is off. Terra Top is off. And Sky Striker Mobile Engage. I, you know, I'll be honest. Like, Engage probably could have been came off, but I didn't I don't I don't know why they didn't just left Engage up there to semi-limited. Like that was cool. It was kind of weird to me. Speedroy Terra Tops. Now the Speedroy boys got Terra Top back at three. I mean, I don't know, man, because Teratops are free level three, man, if you ain't got nothing. That's kind of one of the reasons why I got hit in the first place. But, I mean, and Harp Horror, uh, now we got to deal with all the Orcus shenanigans again. But this list looks interesting. Anything else? No? <laughs> Baron and Savage. R.I.P. Bozos. You won't be missed. <laughs> Why ban why ban Baron? It was an essential part to board building. That ain't fair whatsoever. Austin and Kirby isn't even that good. But his decisions are fine. Except when going to three, because Hero's already broken as it is. <laughs> SG bro. What pain are you huffing? <laughs> Generic high stat army gates are too easy to put out in today's meta. Maybe the board building have to adapt in these in theme strategies or random text, and I'm all for as for Link Rebel. Do you not know Snake Eyes and Fire? Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. And it's easy to send them to the grave. I mean, Link Rebo, even before Snake Eyes and Fire King, people were complaining about it because of the fact that it was an easy Link 1 you can go into that could stop an attack, and you can go into pretty much any Link that you wanted to. Especially with Cyphers, like, the, it's... It, you get to some crazy shenanigans, man. I've seen it, man. Like, I've seen guys that run pure Cyphers, especially with the, um... What is it? The, um... The, not Altergeist, the um, the AG, what is it, AG or AI cards? Those things are extremely nasty. Generic boss monsters are just too bad for the game designs in the long run. Their decks that's arguably fair with them, but most of the time they'll just be abused by whatever high power decks. That's what I'm saying. Like, 
Like, make boss monsters that don't have to be on the gates. They can do other stuff, like maybe help out in battle, you know, maybe inflict, like, burn damage or something. You feel me? Like, it doesn't, like, it just, running into a board that just has two or three negates, it's, it's just boring and it's just run of the mill. Like, how many times have you seen a Baron de Fleur or a Borlode Savage Dragon in a deck? Like, probably all the time. And it kind of sucks because Borlord doesn't even like, you know, they don't really have anything other than like, I mean, they they have some cards they can go into, but Borlord Savage was pretty good in that deck. But like I said, I, I think what would have been all right is if they weren't generic. Them being generic just ruined them. I thought they Konami learned their lesson with Telonite Platominus when he was generic and he got abused to make Cyber Dragon Infinity. You'd think by now, Konami would think, okay, maybe we don't need to make cars that are too good generic boss monsters. Like, no. Like, you could take any card that you want and just make it. Like, when you got decks that are running archetype cards that don't even use that archetype, that's a problem. <laughs> that's a major problem. But, um, this list looks interesting, and I like it. Um, rest in pepperonis. Savage, the Fleur, Link, and Summon Limit. I, Summon Limit can rest in piss. I'm not bad about it. Link Rebo, I didn't really run Link. I did run Borlord Savage Dragon in like my Borlord decks, my Rocket decks. So, yeah, it's going to be sad to see him go. Baron the Fleur, not really. I only ran the Fleur in like Sword Soul deck or, you know, maybe every once in a while again, Bistrals. But other than that, yeah. But you guys gonna have to think of your new. Gonna have to find something else new. You guys gonna be able to run the same regular army the gates anymore. So that's gonna be interesting to see. Anyway, like favorites and, and oh, I'm tongue tied. I'm a little tired, fellas. I apologize. Like favorite, subscribe. We're at 700 boys. Oh, thank y'all. Thank y'all so very, very, very much. I appreciate all the support. You have no idea. Mm. But um, shoot, I'm gonna make a. I'll make a 700 sub thank you video sometime, but, you know, just give me a minute. I got you guys. I got y'all. So, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Have a lovely day. I appreciate everything, and peace.